Took a day to burn down this apartment building with all of the belongings and now, well, safe at last. Fire officials say all explosives have been destroyed at a Beaver Dam apartment complex during a controlled burn there today. Our Madeline Anderson live on the scene with more on the operation. Madeline, good evening. Mary, good evening. City leaders lifted their mandatory evacuation of this area a few hours ago, saying that the control burn could not have gone any better. Now, two buildings do remain closed tonight for air quality concerns, but officials say no one was injured during the burn and crews did a good job of keeping the flames contained. A smoldering pile of debris is all that remains of building 109 of the Village Glen Apartments. After this, I'm glad it's going to be all over. Dozens of onlookers stood by as 100 firefighters successfully executed a controlled burn of the structure Thursday morning. I took a, a, a sigh of relief. With a cloud of black smoke overhead and temperatures topping 1600 degrees inside, the Beaver Dam Fire Chief says the building and everything in it was destroyed within two hours. It felt kind of a, a double-edged sword bittersweet having to do this operation in the first place was horrible. On March 5th, an explosion in Unit 11 killed tenant 28 year old Benjamin Morrow. Investigators on scene found more volatile chemicals in his apartment believed to be used for a homemade bomb. The only safe way to get rid of them was to set the entire place on fire. We don't want to lose sight of the fact that the residents of Building 109 were profoundly impacted. While the rubble signifies a mission accomplished, Beaver Dam Mayor Rebecca Rebecca Gluen says it's also a reminder of the devastating loss 15 families have experienced. After evacuating their homes that first day, residents of 109 were told it would be too dangerous to ever return to retrieve their belongings. We know that the journey to normalcy for them will take much longer. Now, some good news for residents. During yesterday's sweep of the building, the FBI bomb squad was able to recover some irreplaceable items for residents. As for the criminal investigation, Beaver Dam Police and the FBI are looking into why the suspect was allegedly making a bomb. Reporting live in Beaver Dam, Madeline Anderson, Fox 6 News. Yeah, that is the question. Madeline, thanks for that. We have